first new at six, three doctors are providing a Waukesha County judge with their assessment of Morgan Geyser's mental health. Geyser has spent almost half her life in a mental health facility after pleading guilty in the Slender Man stabbing case. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne has new revelations about the case disclosed in court for the first time. Morgan Geyser is back in Waukesha County Court asking to be released early from her 40 year commitment at a state mental health facility in the Slender Man stabbing case. This is the third time she's petitioned for a conditional release. Unspecified schizophrenia spectrum and other psychotic disorder. Geyser and her friend Anissa Wire pleaded guilty in the 2014 attempted homicide of their classmate Peyton Leitner. The girls lured Leitner into the woods. She was stabbed 19 times to please the fictional character Slender Man. Geyser and Wire were 12 at the time and charged as adults. Ms. Geyser was not well psychiatrically. Wednesday, forensic psychologist Deborah Collins testified Geyser attempted suicide during her treatment. Collins testified that Geyser said she was sexually abused as a child and that she started a relationship with a 63 year old man through letters and phone calls. She was engaging in what she called a medieval torture game. Another psychologist testified she believes Geyser is still a danger to herself and others. Geyser's attorneys argue Geyser has reached maximum privileges and has made significant improvements, including supervised visits to public restaurants and stores. Most concerning to me was that at this point, um, those clinical items, those dynamic factors, they, they remain um, prevalent. In Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News.